minus 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The lift off the Falcon 9 takes flight with the Dragon spacecraft destined for the one-of-a-kind laboratory in microgravity, the International Space Station. The Falcon 9 has cleared the tower. 39A, Copy, Wilco. Six seconds after liftoff. Two Followed seconds later, later, after by two seconds later, we'll go through max Q, which is the maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle. After our main engine cutoff. The first stage will perform a boost back burn about 15 seconds later and head back to nearby Cape Canaveral Air Force Station Landing Zone 1. And on NASA television, we'll be showing you the first stage landing as well as the continuation of the second stage taking Dragon to orbit. Station 1 jettison will begin at 2 minutes 29 seconds. This view from the. Second stage ignition. This view from the second stage of the Falcon 9, showing the engine has ignited. And that's the first stage, heading back toward the ground, just miles away from the launch pad. First stage is conducting a boost burn. About 10 seconds remaining in that burn. Dragon nose cone deployed. Meanwhile, the Dragon nose cone has deployed, exposing the Trajectory Dragon nominal. spacecraft to space. Boost back shutdown. Boost back burn shutdown. This view again from the second stage. Everything proceeding normally with both first and second stage operations of the Falcon 9. Landing legs will be deployed in about 15 seconds. And a sonic boom felt throughout the Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral Air Force Station area as Falcon 9 first stage landing legs deploy returns to Cape Canaveral Air Force Station landing zone one. 